Alan McCauley pray it off. And now I'm going to say a word that sends shudders through some of your bodies that you go, oh, please don't say the exercise word. <laughs> I think, and I, I, a lot of things I say a million times, and Father Pryor once said, I have three sermons, and I just recycle them over and over and over again, because, what? Well, Eat smart, move more, and pray, but you got to put different slants on it. Here's my, my final word on exercise. you got to do something, and you got to do something you like. What I decided I liked was walk and say the rosary, because I'm killing a couple of good birds. I'm moving. I'm praying. It's like win-win. I also found I have two torn meniscus in my knees. If I walk too much, on concrete or something hard, it hurts. But if I march in place, I was in a marching band. Now, you ever notice West Jenny kids, they kind of move their legs. When we were in marching band, we, who was in marching band when you did this? We marched. Nobody? Nobody was in marching band? Oh my gosh, that's what's wrong with this group. Nobody was in marching band. They lose weight if they were in marching band. We marched. We put our legs right up in the air. But guess what? It doesn't hurt my knee. So every day I march in place for, get this everybody, one hour. Oh my wow. God. And I work. Wow. And I lift one half pound weights. Now I don't do it all at once. I do a half hour. I say the rosary at quarter to seven. And then as soon as I'm done with the rosary, I march in place for a half hour. And then with the weights. And then at my lunch hour, I get an hour. An hour. It's like you can go to Acapulco and back in an hour. That's a long time. <laughs> And you have to take it. You have to take it on union. So I shut my office door, march place for a half hour. I like it. And I do over 10,000 steps every day, and that makes me happy. I come home from work, and I say to Bob, guess what I did? And then he goes, well, and I tell him my steps, and he always says, and you've got a desk job. To do 10,000 steps a day in a desk job, that feels good. If your legs hurt, your body hurts, move some weights. Next week, we're going to talk about stretching, and I'm going to bring in free stretch bands. Now, if you have stretch bands at home, don't take them. These are for people who don't have them, okay? But you've got to find something. Who has ever exercised and said, I don't feel, well, I shouldn't ask this question in this group, because <laughs> maybe many people will answer yes. But you got to make yourself feel better. Also, I work for Onondaga County. We have wonderful programs. There's free classes. Don't go on a Thursday one. If you have a place of business, uh, there's 20 in here. Take them where you work and pass them out. They're free for people who are caregivers or one day may be caregivers. So guess who that includes? Everybody. Also, at St. Joseph's Church, there's if you're pushing 65 and don't know anything about Medicare, I know the person who's giving it. She makes all this gobbly goop sound so approachable. Even if you're on it, you're like, I still don't get it. Go, it's free. Sign up. Here's a whole list of the free classes that I told you about. There's a lot of good ones on there. Brain fitness, facts or fiction. These are all good, good, so, uh, good, good topics. Look at it. Tonight, we're going to play a song right now, and I want everyone to prayerfully listen to the lyrics. It's called Keep Making Me. God put us here at Pray It Off. Everything in our lives. We've been on planes, we've been in trains, we've been in automobiles, we've had hospital visits, we've had children, we've had all these things happen in our lives, but guess what? We're alive. We're right here. Take your pulse. Yep, it's still beating. We're alive. We're here. God can keep making us if we lean on him. Let's prayerfully listen to the lyrics. 